Since we have loads of options with Galahad 2 LCD right here and right over there, there's going to be, well, this is going to be the second video that I'm going to cover it, but this time we'll go more into details when we discuss the LCD screen. And I'm not going to talk about any specifications about the, the AAO since you've already seen that in the review and you can check that out right here. But regardless of that, Today we're going to, well, I'm going to show you all the possibilities that you can do and combine with each feature, additionally presets that you have or screen record or anything similar to that, that you can show on your Galahad 2 LCD. Is it 360? Is it 280? Is it SL Infinity? Is it regular one? It's all up to you to decide, but regardless of that the screen is the same the functions are the same and that covers basically all of those AIOs so as you can see maybe you can see right here right now uh, this was screen recorded even though I did make a mistake and you'll see that in the close-up uh, but tend to remove that part I'll get to that point later on but as you can see this is screen recorded directly from YouTube well basically it's my video but regardless of that you can place literally anything you wish to go in a certain loop up to three minutes and yeah it does look cool and even though the resolution is 480 times 480 it looks really good i do have to say so let's start by downloading the l connect 3 and basically the only thing that you have to do is connect it to your type c on the top left right or bottom side depending on where you oriented the tubes and to your USB 2.0. That's the only connection you need to connect the pump to your motherboard and to be able to control it to L Connect 3. So before we start, we have screen, screen LED and fan LED. This can be adjusted as you wish. And let's start with the screen LED. These are the two strips on the side of the screen, which give you an option to choose whatever you want to. So you can go with rainbow, rainbow morph, static color, breathing, runway, meteor, Ticker tape, fluctuation, transmit, colorful sterinite, static sterinite, voice, and until I go to the next part, you have in part of those you have the color set, you have the speed, you have the brightness to be able to choose from and to adjust how you wish. And then you go to the second page where you have Big Bang, you have five sets of colors here burst, one set of color, speed, and brightness, color morph, only speed and brightness, and finally we have bounce four set of colors, speed and brightness. So again, this is just for the LEDs on the side next to the LCD screen, but then we go to the screen actually. As you can see here, you could place an image or a video. It's all up to you to decide. When you add, you can upload screen capture or screen record. It's all up to you. You can do the background. You can place dual sensor. You can put a single sensor. Uh, it's basically all up to you to decide what you want. And right here with the layout, you can choose the colors of the font you can choose the type of the font you have five of those actually and finally you can align the sensors as you wish which gives you an option to place it on top in the middle and at the bottom and of course uh, just the shadows which will make the letters and the numbers stick out a bit more then we go to the background color which uh, basically gives you a possibility uh, to adjust uh, two colors you have solid color you have horizontal gradient you have vertical and radial gradient this gives you also an option to put dual sensor or single sensor you have the possibility to place a watermark it's all up to you to decide again now when we go with the raining option now here's a cool thing you could do you can go and presumably screen record or screen capture a photo that you find online which you either can't download or anything similar to that. You capture it, you place it in the background of the LCD, you add dual sensors, and then you can, I don't know, for instance, if that's some sort of a picture that you would like to use, uh, you can go with the raining theme. So it's, here we go, let me just show you. It acts like the image has come to life. So this is really cool because you get an option to have some sort of a interaction with the image, uh, yet you get the possibility to have the dual sensor to check out the thermals of your CPU, GPU, and uh, still looks quite nice. You can even add the snow or meteor shower. That's for another picture, definitely. And then you can also do is 
fireworks because this looks pretty cool now you can adjust the intensity so the visual effects you can uh, adjust high uh, intensity with more fireworks or you can go with less fireworks it's all up to you to decide and uh, of course then we go the same way with the text and watermark and how to adjust everything and stuff like that circular effects we go from twist hole kaleidoscope mandala and in each of those you have a possibility to adjust static dynamic with different speeds uh, text watermark uh, cpu load and gpu load can be added for the text and the type so slider sensor which uh, can loop in 5 to 20 seconds it's all up to you to decide uh, how much then we go to the blossom where you have a color set of five you can also go with dynamic and adjust the speeds of course here we also have the text and watermarks after that we have the transform which gives you an option to choose between five different shapes so you can choose whatever you wish you can choose the color set you can choose the background and again we have an option for the text and we have an option for the watermark if you desire to place something else higher than the lee and lee logo so again loads of options then after that you can go with the time tunnel now this one is really cool because you have a color set which is some sort of an rgb and you can go with additional colors that you decide up to yourself so uh, with the cpu load you can adjust the color scheme you can go with different speeds static dynamic effects uh, slider sensor and everything else now in the second page we have a whirlpool and you might have seen that in the Lian Li 011 vision video uh, here you can go with visual effects to change four different colors then you can go with uh, the speed and you can also choose dynamic option right after that we have radiant rainbow which you can choose with the speeds up to three we have a color background to choose as well this can be option for a text in addition to everything which gives you an option to either go with the sensor or custom text and finally we have the uh, Lee and Lee style clock now here the only thing that you could do is well change the color but regardless of that I do have to say their clock looks outstanding in every color that you decide to go with and I think this one is quite all right uh, you can't add the sensor panel here but regardless of that I really like this design of the clock and it really does look cool. So uh, basically what you could do is you can go with the uh, background effects with themes. So you can screen record anything that you desire. You can screen capture or screen record. Uh, uploading is either MP4, uh, GIF, PNG or JPEG. Then you have screen capture JPEG and you have screen recording with MP4. This is an option where you could basically auto resize everything that you see here and uh, it still shows as 480 times 480. What I wanted to say is do be careful and remove the bottom part what I left in the video. As you can see, I made a mistake and I didn't remove that uh, auto resize bar. You have to remove it because it will get recorded. So uh, do tend to remove it or somehow hide it or at least screen record on a different part of the screen so you don't capture it. So to sum it all up, as you already saw, because I had been talking for more than 10 minutes, which is incredible to have loads of, uh, let's say that much customizability for a LCD screen on a, on a AIO. I know for some of you guys, this might not be interesting, but I know most of you guys are really curious about this. You're waiting for an LCD screen on an Lee and Lee AIO for quite some time. And this is it. What you can do additionally, and to sum it all up, as already stated, you can go with circular effects, you can go with background effects with teams, you can go with Lian Lee style clock, personalized screen recordings or capture, and it sums it all up with a layer one with a background image, then you have layer two with text and slider sensors, and then what I did, you can either choose the rain or snow or fireworks, it's all up to you to decide. So basically, what can I say? They did an incredible job giving us an opportunity to make at least the photos go to life. Let's say, let's put it that way. And uh, you still get the possibility to place dual sensor. You can place a single sensor. You can loop them. It's all up to you. Crazy possibility when we're talking about personalization of the screen, 
of the uh, AIO that we have right here. So guys, this is Lian Lee Galahad 2 LCD 360. Specifically, this one is SL Infinity that I'm using and I had to use it in O11 Vision since this case is also quite um, eye-catching, I would say. So I'll place the links below in the description. First of all, for the Lian Lee Galahad 2 360 LCD SL Infinity. And finally, I'll place additionally if you desire to somewhat copy this setup i'll place the link for the o11 vision and for the reverse blades these are unifan sl infinity 120 reverse blades here at the bottom and i swapped those ones on the aio as well so you know and these are regular ones so you'll have all the links in the description if this video helped you or at least helped you decide to buy one of these products don't forget to support the channel by subscribing hitting the like button and clicking the notification bell so you don't miss any future content. Thank you for watching. See you very soon, guys. Bye-bye.